Welcome back as many changes are coming to GeForce Now Cloud Game Streaming Service which is operating in the US, Europe and Japan. Basically Nvidia based servers. Priority membership has already been upgraded to performance membership free of cost. People who have this membership will now be able to stream games at up to 1440p resolution instead of full HD resolution. Here's the biggest change. Starting on January 1, 2025, GeForce Now Playtime will get capped at 100 hours. Yes, you heard it right. And this is applicable to both performance and ultimate users. Many people are not happy about this change, especially the ultimate users considering how expensive the service is. Prices have not been changed. Ultimate membership costs around 20 US dollars per month. Performance membership costs around 10 US dollars per month. For existing GeForce Now members and anybody who subscribes to the service before 31st December 2024, this 100 hours playtime limit will come into effect on January 1st 2026. Founder members will still get unlimited playtime for as long as they do not allow their membership to lapse. Additional playtime can be purchased in increments of 15 hours. For performance membership, price is around 3 US dollars. And for ultimate membership, the price is around 6 US dollars. Up to 15 hours of unused playtime will automatically get rolled over to the following month's playtime. Up to 115 hours of playtime is a lot per month. GeForce now is available in 3 tiers. First we have the free tier. It will give us a basic rate. Hardware specification will vary from server to server. Just a few days ago, I tried out Resident Evil 4 on the free tier of GeForce Now. It was a Europe based server. That server had an RTX 3050 GPU and an AMD Ryzen processor with 16 cores. Free tier is supported by ads and there will be long queue times. Per session is capped at 1 hour. Then we have the paid performance tier. We can stream games at up to 1440p resolution with ray tracing on. This subscription costs around 10 US dollars per month, features short queue times. Per session is capped at 6 hours. In this video, I'll be purchasing a day pass to test the performance tier of GeForce now. Next, we have the ultimate membership. These servers will be having an RTX 4080 GPU and a CPU with 16 cores. Price 20 US dollars per month. We'll be able to stream games at up to 4K resolution, 120 FPS or full HD resolution, 240 FPS. Ray tracing on, shortest queue times per session capped at 8 hours. Access to NVIDIA features like DLSS3, Reflex, Cloud G-Sync. Now I am from India. This service is not available here so I will be using a VPN to access it. I will be using Proton VPN. It's free. Just connect to any of their free Europe or US based servers. I will be testing GeForce now on my ROG Ally Windows 11 based PC. Proton VPN is running in the background connected to their Netherlands based server. Just go to NVIDIA's website. I will give its link in the description. Click on day passes here. Currently, a 25% off discount is live on day passes. I'll be purchasing the day pass for performance tier. It costs around 3 US dollars. Buy now. Sign into your NVIDIA account. Day pass will give us access to GeForce now for 24 hours. Benefits will start immediately upon purchase. Modes of payment, GPA, PayPal, debit or credit card. I'll select PayPal. We'll be using my Access Bank debit card. International payment is enabled on it. I agree. Signing into my PayPal account. Payment is getting processed. Start my day pass. Transaction was successful. This is GeForce Now's Windows client. Performance tier. Show you the settings. Streaming quality set to custom. Max bitrate auto. Yeah, I have access to Quad HD resolution. Different tiers. If you want to stream games at 4K resolution, subscribe to Ultimate tier frame rate. Don't have access to 120fps mode, 60fps mode selected. Racing adaptive, we are unsupported, need to have a GPU for GPU. Color precision 8 bit. Resolution upscaling enhanced. Enhanced upscaling provides better image quality than standard. In game graphics settings setting enable. This means our in game settings will be saved even when we switch to a different server. Server location set to auto. I'll just run a network test. Ethernet connection. This is the result. Measured latency around 160 milliseconds. No packet loss here. First, I'll be running Warhammer Space Marine 2. Don't need to connect to any VPN in order to use GeForce now from India. Connecting. Hopefully, there won't be a waiting queue. Yeah. 
My ROG LX connected to an Ethernet connection, Airtel Extreme Fiber Broadband, 100 megabits per second speed. Game is starting. I'll open GeForce Now solely. Press Ctrl and G keys together. There it is. Statistics on. Okay, text is very small. Let me just zoom in. This server has an RTX 3060 GPU. Ping 160 milliseconds as expected. In game and stream FPS. Server location EU Southeast Resolution Quad HD Codec H.265 Good to see ROG LS supporting this codec Remaining playtime Almost 6 hours per session Connected my Gully Kit KK3 Max Gamepad to Ally via Bluetooth mode Settings Resolution Quad HD Name of the GPU DLSS Upscaler enabled Using its quality preset Desync off, motion blur off, quality preset set to medium. I'll just set it to high. Why not? This game is demanding. Apply. We are in. Check out the input response. Stream is stable. Input delay is not a problem. This much amount of input delay is expected considering the latency values around 160 milliseconds. If a regional server of GeForce Now is available in your country, input delay won't be a problem. Oh my god, FPS dropped down to around 46. Server is struggling. So many vermins on the screen. I warned you about this game's performance. Need to interact with this panel, my bad. Hold position. Yeah, forty four FPS. Oh no, not impressed by the server's performance. Forty FPS. It's not due to my internet connection, you can see streams FPS 60. It's the in-game FPS which is dropping 39 FPS. Now I'll be testing another demanding title. You won't be able to access some games without using a VPN if you're using GeForce now in unsupported countries like India. Now I'll be running Dragon's Dogma Part 2. Very demanding title, especially on the CPU. We are in. I'll just disconnect from the VPN now. Enable stats. Getting a ping of around 143 milliseconds. Server location EU Southeast. Just zoomed in at the overlay. This server has an RTX 2080 GPU. Getting a ping of around 143 milliseconds. Server location EU Southeast. Quad HD resolution H.265 codec. Ethernet connection. Graphic setting. Display mode full screen. Quad HD resolution. 60 FPS cap, VSync off, DLSS upscale enabled using its quality preset. Reflex setting is enabled as well. This game does support ray tracing and I can enable it, but this GPU is really not powerful enough for handling the game with ray tracing on. Pretty sure FPS will drop below 30, so I'll just disable it. high settings let's see what happens I'll test the game in the city of Vanworth estimated VRAM uses 6.61 GB there's my character I purchased a house in Vanworth save point <laughs> yeah, here we are getting around 37 to 40 FPS see I warned you about the game's performance I'll go to the marketplace 35 FPS and it's not due to my internet connection. GeForce now server is struggling. Struggling hard. CPU is getting choked. Same thing can be said about the GPU. Showing some texture popping issue. 
this game has garbage optimization not sure what Capcom was thinking when they were working on this game and it has received so many performance improving updates since its release still its current state is poor in the open fields 40 fps I'll just set everything to medium no medium setting for resource intense effects quality and that's it hopefully this will increase the fps back to the game the fps increased to around 50 slightly better performance than before oh no fps dropped down to 42 again garbage optimization now i'll be testing the next game now i'm testing another demanding game Baldur's gate 3 starting we'll be testing the game in the lower city area third act select direct excellent version of the game enable stats okay this time i got a server with an rts 3060 gpu eu southeast ping 160 milliseconds in game settings quad hd resolution vsync disabled dlss enabled using its quality preset i'll run the game using the high preset for some reason dlss got disabled enable it again yeah everything set to high and that's it all right we are in check out the input response keep an eye on the fps counter fps will be very variable in this area 44 observed some stuttering there it's not due to my internet connection see 43 fps flushing mermaid tavern lot of non playable characters here server is struggling i'll trigger an explosion we're going to that house 40 fps there's the explosion 28 fps not surprised at the performance third act of this game is very demanding on the cpu big crowd ahead 37 fps as expected i have tested this game many times before now i'll be testing another game now i'll run another demanding game black match wukong steam version we are in stats enabled server location eu southeast ping 147 milliseconds shaders will get compiled at startup in game settings quad hd resolution vsync disabled motion blur disabled as well super resolution set to dlss scale set to 80 percent basically the ultra quality preset of TLSS I'll just set it to 67 quality preset of TLSS this game supports frame generation won't be enabling it graphics preset set to medium ok I'll stick with the default settings ray tracing off this is the last chapter of black Myth wukong features a semi open world map 54 to 60 fps this game does suffer from traverses status alright I'll just explore the map what was that look at that giant insect in the background even with the medium preset server is struggling to maintain a stable 60 fps Status Dismount Rhino Started When these creatures appear out of nowhere Man, 
I say stutter there when I transform again not impressed by the performance now I'll be testing the next game Cyberpunk 2077 will be running the game with ray tracing enabled stats enabled RTX 3060 GPU server location EU Southeast ping of around 144 milliseconds in game settings using ray tracing low preset DLSS upscaler enabled using its quality preset this game supports frame generation as well not using it increases latency target FPS is 60 only ray tracing on motion blur I'll disable it off scroll down quickly most of the settings set to high few settings are set to ultra apply video resolution quad HD full screen mode FPS is capped at 120 remove this FPS cap NVIDIA reflex enable helps in reducing latency apply before starting the game I'll just run the benchmark test show you the server specs as well this is the result average FPS 60 GPU RTS 3060 memory around 11 GB CPU model Ryzen processor with 16 cores Windows 11 Pro I'll be testing Phantom Liberty test the game in the Dogtown area it's more demanding than the vanilla version of Cyberpunk we are in this is talk down here fps is very variable see 44 to 54 check out the input response again geforce now server is struggling can observe the choppiness i warned you about phantom liberty's performance just ride my bike keep an eye on the fps counter massive fps drop here yeah fps only drop from 50 to 40 37 FPS I have enabled ray tracing this area is demanding on both CPU and GPU oh no server just cannot handle the game done my testing the streams were very stable image quality look very sharp I am from India use the European servers of GeForce now ping was within a range of 140 to 160 milliseconds input delay was manageable but server side performance was on the lower side 40 to 60 fps in games even without frame generation and cyberpunk i enable frame generation and fps dropped down to around 35 i'll be honest rtx 2080 and rtx 3060 gpus are not ideal for gaming at 1440p resolution especially with ray tracing enabled very disappointed by nvidia's decision to employ a 100 hours limit on geforce now's playtime especially for the ultimate tier users i hope nvidia will go back on this decision that's it with the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day